nung cha da yas kata dayan a gas nge izung um my name is amber good my hidden name is dudu ayang it means dragonfly woman my nani is mary swanson she is one of just a few people who can still speak, read, and write the Haida language fluently. She says they are all in their 80s. When we were born, our first words were Haida words. Wadlu nangjada yas gagidangan nangjada sudaman. My name is Jesse Williams, and I'm 17. I was born in Masset. I don't think so much about Haida culture, even though it's all around me. She teaches our language at Tehagan Elementary School, one of two elementary schools in my village, Masset. Masset is on the northern end of Haida Gwaii, the islands of the people. The Haida people have lived in Masset for thousands of years. When Nani Mary was a little girl, she attended school in Masset village. The first words she spoke were Haida, but when she went to school, she got strapped whenever she spoke her language. We weren't allowed to speak our own language. We used to get strapping for that. People here believe the school is haunted. They say children were killed there. One third of Aboriginal children spent most of their childhoods in residential schools. Like Nani Mary, they were punished for speaking their languages. My name is Raven Houseman Hayward. I've only lived on this island for three years. But I can see that the Haida culture is strong and proud. And even though I'm not Haida, I think we can all fight to keep the culture alive. When they came back to their villages as young adults, often only speaking English, they found it hard to talk to their parents and grandparents, and we began to lose touch with our traditions and our cultures. My name is Justin Clevegard. I live on Haida Gwaii. I think the Haida language should be saved. Although the language does make the people, the people make the language. Still, we should hang on to the things our ancestors made. <laughs> Now we are struggling to learn all of the things we lost. But I want to learn and I know language is not the only thing that's keeping our culture alive. We have art, music, and stories. But we wouldn't be Haida if we didn't have our language. I said, that's all there is, no.